Hi, and welcome to a new Plugin Guru video. My name is John Skippy Limcool. Welcome. So, Biome is an effect, audio effect unit brought out by Unfiltered Audio a while back. And since then, they have been working on turning this into a synthesizer. And I am honored today to be able to introduce to you Lion. This is taking that heart of Biome, build your own multi effects. That's right here in the middle. Down here is all sorts of modulation sources. And up here are two separate oscillators that have all of these different types of synthesis modes. Um, the crossfade between the two oscillators, um, filtering. I'm going to just step through a whole bunch of patches. So here is the power of Lion. Stereo pitch shifting delays. All sorts of cool stuff. Now, this name is going to stay the same. I'm just going to go through patches up here so you can. Uh others and the effects are what's interesting check out Stuff like that. If modular is your thing, you can get crazy. Stuff like that pretty easily. here Sorts of stuff going on. There's a cool randomized parameter right here, and you can choose the depth. It's at 10%, which means each time I click this, it will just change the uh, effects that are on screen. Right? You can have it do more extreme, you can have it do just to different areas. Very fun. Let me get back to my little preset I made for this video. 
um, and step through some more stuff. Kodo, not Kodo, like sampled, but a cool. Cool synthy type of Kodo. Here's Super FM. This is like more of that experimental modular. One of the oscillator types is a super saw and super square. So we've got both happening. so you can see what I'm playing. We'll get into messing this stuff in a minute. So this gets into kind of your sub. Cool pads. Out there with effects with filtering happening this is all happening because deep reverb is being modulated <laughs> like here's a parameter of the sine LFO it's and if you want to change the chord notes, you go right here to the resonator bank. We've got four notes for different chord harmonies. You can modulate the pitch and the volume of each note. Let's see here, Dreams Realized. One cool effect inside of Lion and Biome is a pitch delay that has a shifter for the left and right, they can do up to two octaves up and down, so. So you hear the octave shifting. pretty cool effect not many things have stereo pitch shifting that you can edit in this way so I had a lot of fun with that okay up next is life shock this is a love this one this is using a step sequencer I believe oh sample and hold noise so this is as one cool thing with the way that lion works is as I drag this modulation source to another destination, a new one just adds to the list. So you can keep adding. If you want a whole bunch of things to be modulated by the same source, you just keep clicking and dragging and you can as many as you want. Right? So it's very, very easy to program. We'll do from scratch here in a second. Next, never ending sunset. And here's where we started. So I hope this gives you an idea of the range of sounds. It's 
new synth. This is not trying to emulate, obviously, an analog synth or something that's come before it. This is new territory. This is new, fresh snow, no footprints. And it's very new. There's so much unexplored in this synthesizer. So we've barely scratched the surface of what you're gonna find in this synthesizer. The basic state. Uh, this is where I started. If you go and click up here, you can go to the factory presets. There's artist folders. All of these folders below that that are category-wise, if you see JL in the name at the end, those are patches I created. So if you like the patches I created and you want more for various synths that you own, please come to my website, pluginguru.com. I have patches. There's 80 libraries at this point. It's, it's pretty crazy how <laughs> it keeps growing for all sorts of synthesizers. So I appreciate the support. That's how I make my living. Um, and so I thank you in advance. Uh, but this interface is rather cool. So let's hit the wide button right here, which will give you a panoramic view. Here is your polyphony options. You have between mono, mono, legato retrigger, as well as up to 16 voices of polyphony. Uh, because this is all synthesis, there is no samples inside of this. It's all purely calculated. Uh, it can be a little CPU heavy. So be aware of that when you're choosing what type of synthesis you're using and how you're going to use it. When you click right here, you get to your oscillator types. There's all sorts of FM, super saw, super square. Things are found here. There's granular. There's some interesting experimental type of things to play with. Here's your basic shapes. Like if you're going to go just for just like a synthesizer with just a raw waveform, instead of forms, you'd go down here and choose one of these to be more CPU efficient. Um, and below that are noise and there's some crackle and dust as well as noise, which are really interesting. In this uh, second row, you have the second oscillator. You click right here to turn it on, and then here's your volume for it. If you want an oscillator, let's change the attack. Let's go here to the envelope. If we were to cycle, All sorts of cool stuff to get. Right? All sorts of two-up feedback. Crazy, crazy stuff to play with. Um, let's do something basic. Let's just go reset to default <laughs> one more time. So if we go over here, we could choose uh, like stacks for the super saw. There's a second oscillator. And the blend right here lets you hear it or not. You can hit the S button right here to make it a stereo oscillator. Mono. Stereo. Be aware that's two oscillators doing all sorts of things, so there is more CPU involved. But it sure sounds good. Um, down here is your filter. You can choose different filter types. You have pre-filter drive you can turn on. And then now you get into the bottom two rows of where all the fun are. Uh, you can go over here and just click and drag to add a modulation source to anything. Take it off from BPM. This is your depth. And as long as you want, you can just keep adding. It will keep adding modulation sources as you...
it just keeps adding. It's really cool how it works. So the modulation works where this little dot here is your source and then you drag to wherever your destination is at the bottom of the row of so to choose from the, the connections on the top are your sources. The bottom is destinations. Um, if you want to do, let's, let's do this. Let's, if you click right here, you find this place where you can grab the handle <laughs> and that's how you make cables go away just by clicking on the cable itself and saying, no, thanks. Okay. Over here is your keyboard and here's where you have note scaling, velocity. Here's your mod wheel. So if I say mod wheel to the filter. And again, this amp is a depth. So all the modulation sources have an amp and they're set to 25% to start. Now it's hundred percent. And again, I added mod wheel here. Another mod wheel source popped up. So I could say here, and I could say here to resonance and invert it. So it goes the other direction. Okay. You get into the more crazy things if you wanted to add, instead of an LFO, go here to the step sequencer. Um, here's your step sequence steps. If you want, you can click right here and say randomize this preset, and it'll just randomize all the parameters. Um, let's say do that again. So randomize. As you can see, it's randomizing everything. You can say plus or plus or minus whether you want it to be polar or bipolar or not. Now it has a slew, which will make it smoother. Let's say four and frequency. Okay. Now you can turn on the reverb and have this modulation source go to the reverb dampening, to the mix. And you can immediately get into new territory. Add something like a, say some sort of a cool flanger. And then have this join into the fun just by driving some cables and So the ability to get into crazy land is very easy. It's very fun. It's hard to stay kind of like focused and go, no, I want to make just a nice little synth pad. <laughs> you know, it's really easy to get into new territory with this interface. Um, so you've got modulation sources. Here's your pitch bin range. This is cool. This is your four, although it will expand if you add more for controlling real time controls. And again, if you add one, another one just pops up. So you can have one knob control as many things as you want in the engine. After you get to number four, watch what happens. It will say, oh, you need another one. And oh, you need another one. And you need another one. And if you double click, you can collapse these to be smaller. So that way it will be more easily seen with the interface. Same with all these guys. So um, that's basically how it works. Then it's just a matter of finding the parameters to make the sounds that you want. I mean, you can take a look. Let's go back to our presets that we created. And I'll go through and show you a couple of these real quick show you some of the variations. Uh, beautiful extraction. I'm using an AR envelope right here. The AD is what they call it to do just pitch EG. Right. And then bringing my depth down really low and the intensity really low. Okay, it's got a nice reverb. You can see I've got controls to the mod wheel, which changes the index on the 4-op FM. That was cool.
This is a crazy one because there's things like this LFO that's changing parameters in this reverb. So it's just swimming all over the place. Then the resonator bank here is being controlled by these, the looping random. stuff to play with so new stuff man so lion is available if you do the full subscription at plugin alliance it includes lion so you get all of their effects that are in the plugin alliance umbrella all the brain works all the other really really great effects are all there this gets put right in there, so if you have that subscription plan, uh, Lion's available to you now. It's available to buy, of course. So there you go. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this introduction. It's a new synth with a ton of potential. Uh, hope you explore it and enjoy it. Download the demo. See for yourself if Lion is a fit for you. And thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.